Hey crafty friends, welcome to day 7 of the 14 Days of Crafty Love 2023 series. And today we are going to be creating some rosettes. So I had a couple of crepe paper rosettes in my stash from last year. And also a uh, paper rosette that we are going to decorate today. So I've just gathered up a couple of little stickers and things in this little Dollar Tree container uh, that I might want to use. I've got my foam tape from Dollar Tree, my adhesive, my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, and my glue gun. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to pull out these pieces and I want to try to use up um, some of these items that I have in my stash for Valentine's Day. So let's pop out this little hole in the tag. That way if we want to add ribbon or trims there we can. So I'm thinking about maybe layering these two together, maybe tucking, tucking that in maybe there. So I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive. Even though this is a sticker, I want to keep that backing on and then we'll tuck this under and that kind of covers up that one hole in the tag as well so let's see do we want to add some trim here i've got this uh sequence trim from the dollar tree that might be cute to add in so let me uh trim a little piece of that and we could add that in here let's see if that i don't know if i like that no all right don't like how that looks with it So let's just go ahead and add that down with a little bit of, I've got some white trim with a gold border. We can add that instead. And I think that will go a lot better because we have gold accents on some of these pieces. So I'm just going to add that through. and trim it up. I don't think we need it to be too long. There we go. All right, so I think I'm going to add a couple of staples here. Maybe like just three, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of adhesive underneath this top part. And so we have that. I think that would be cute to put off on one side here, like so. And then we have the cute llama. I like you lots. And then maybe the heart. Let's see. We tuck the heart behind. So let's go ahead and um, pop up. We're going to add this directly down onto the rosette. And then I'm going to pop up the llama with some of these foam 
squares from the Dollar Tree. So let's see. We definitely need a large one and maybe a very small piece for the neck. Let's see. Yep, that will work. So let's add the llama down first, and then we will stop start building up uh, the sentiment on top of that. And then we'll have the heart next. So I'm just going to add some adhesive on the one side. Or some foam tape on the one side. And then I'm going to add adhesive on the other. That there lots of glue strings here and then we have this I like you lots so let's see don't see much of that heart though hmm I'm thinking most of the heart is gonna actually get covered up so I'm gonna want this guy here <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's grab another foam square for the top here. And I'm going to need to layer that up with another one since we have multi multiple layers of dimension so far. So let's try that and then I'm just going to add some of my tape runner here at the bottom and I think that will get this piece down and you see a little bit of the heart peeking out behind it so that's cute I feel like there's something missing up in this corner though but let's go ahead and set this one aside and work on another one. And then I can add some jimmies or bling or nouveau drops or something to it. So we have that one. Let's do the uh, paper rosette next. So I have some of these larger like pieces um, that I wanted to use up and a couple um, that I've punched out. So. I'm thinking just adding this in the back across here as a layering piece. So I'm just going to add some hot glue and just lay that down kind of right in the middle. Then let's do these hearts layered up and I'm going to add some more staples. It's fun to add staples for added texture. So we can add this guy here and maybe we'll pop, pop the hearts up and then we'll add, yeah, I think that would be cute. So let's pop up this heart. I'm going to add this over here on the right hand side. Then we are going to add our I Heart You.
That's already super cute as it is. We don't even actually have to add the cute little fox, but I think that just adds something extra special to it. So let's add a little bit of dimension to the fox. So we need to add some dimension about right here. I think we're going to need to double that up. And let's see, maybe even a little bit back here. Let's see how that, I'm going to give this a little bit of a test. Yeah, I think we need to add a little bit back here as well. So I'm just going to tuck some on here and stack it up. So let me grab another piece. All right, let's give this one a test and see if we need to add anything else. And I think that is good. I think that gives it enough of um, support underneath. So let's add some glue here and some glue on this one. And I think I'm just going to kind of caddy it a little bit. And I'm going to use that XO in the back. And I do have a little bit hanging off the side, but that's fine because it's popped off off the page. So that's really cute. All right, so I'm going to decorate this one really quick off camera and then come back in show you these three together um, and then we'll add a little extra something to um, each of these all right so here is this one it turned out super cute again i added some dimension behind a couple of the pieces and then to add a little something extra to these i went ahead and grabbed out some buttons because my uh, crafty um, stash challenge this month is button and brads so i just added grab some of the buttons that i had to use up so that we can add some of these around the page so i am going to grab this little um gem uh picker upper thing it's uh for diamond dots but it has a, a wax end here that's perfect for picking up these small things um as i say that there we go so then you can add it down without getting burnt so let's go ahead i think i'm gonna add the white one here then you can also add pressure without worrying about getting burnt and you could add some uh thread or twine uh, ribbon or anything to your buttons as well but I think I'm just going to leave them as is so I'm thinking maybe this pink one here and then we will do this would be cute to have on the wheels. But I don't think I have two of the same. So we're just going to tuck this one here. This one's pretty busy, so we don't need a whole lot on this one. But we'll just kind of tuck that underneath. I'm just cleaning up the extra glue on this one. And these turned out super cute and I will have this uh, tool link down below for you guys but 
just need to clean up those all those glue strings but I love how these turned out they're gonna be perfect for pop popping on projects or sending as embellishments in happy mail so thanks a lot guys for stopping by and checking out day seven uh stay tuned for tomorrow we will be uh playing with some playing cards and we'll be altered altering them in a valentine's day theme so stay tuned for that i hope you all have a wonderful day bye